probably have many of them. I have. I probably have as many trustees as anybody. Yeah. Um, just wondering your reaction to what you heard from uh, Mr. Fitzgerald today. Well, I think it goes back to the same old, old question. Um, it, it depends on the local government. Um, townships, as a percentage of their budget that's made up of local government funds, are, are higher. Uh, they're, in many cases, a tough situation. Uh, by contrast, uh, you know, we've got cities and counties across the state uh, whose percentage of local government funds uh, are much, much smaller, and it makes a much smaller difference. If you do a 25% cut of somebody's 2% budget, it's not the same as, as the 18% the state did. Uh, the other interesting thing, uh, as, I, as I listen to uh, Mr. Fitzgerald, is I think uh, part of the discussion is just a difference in perspective. Um, you know, I think it's not necessarily a good thing that local governments have to come hat in hand to state government um, for funds. I would rather empower local governments to be successful. Uh, on their own and have local revenues support local governments because that's more stable, it's more predictable, and it's going to be a better long-term plan. And that's one of the reasons we have done things to try and uh, empower local governments. Uh, but you know, as I read the, the uh, newspaper editorials and newspaper reports across the state, uh, I'm seeing a trend, and it's because Ohio's getting better. You know, as I look at the clippings uh, from Akron, from Lima, from Canton, from Cleveland. Uh, the state of the mayor, the city has a banner year, University Heights, $2.2 million budget carry forward 2013. Um, they're doing better. Better still isn't good enough, but we're doing better. And in large part, we're doing better because of the steps we've taken to strengthen and improve the economy. Um, one of the things I, I read through and heard from Mr. Fitzgerald was just that he would have supported tax increases. Uh, I don't think that's good that we raise taxes anywhere because tax increases hurt the ability for the private sector to grow and create jobs. The solution to Ohio is a healthy private sector and, and jobs. As jobs grow, uh, we're going to have additional revenues all across the state. We're going to have additional revenues certainly in um, local government. And, and frankly, uh, if we can lower state spending uh, and the need for additional state resources, I think everybody wins. During the campaign, I'm sure we're going to hear over and over again the fact that local government fund was cut, but we have record surplus. How, for the average citizen on the street, how do you explain explain that? To well, the local government f fund was cut when we had an eight eight billion plus deficit, and uh, we put some money back into local government fund in this last budget. Uh, I think what people are calling a record record surplus is the fully funding of the state's rainy day fund, our savings account, so that when the economic downturn occurs, and it will, I mean the economic uh, run in cycles, that we have some money to mitigate a need to reduce services right off the top. But don't forget, most of state government is passed through money. We put over a billion dollars more for K-12 education in this last budget. That's significant. Uh, we put more money in for local governments in the last budget. Uh, we put more money in for Medicaid, which is effectively local services because all of the Medicaid money goes to local hospitals and provide local health care. Over 85 percent of the state budget funds those kind of things. And, and certainly Ohio is doing a little better, so additional revenue has come into the state. Uh, I think it would be imprudent and a bad idea to do what Mr. Fitzgerald and some others have called for, is to spend the state's uh, rainy day fund, our, our savings account, uh, by giving it to entities for one-time expenditures. I, I think that's a bad idea. I think it's time for Ohio to maintain a savings account. The previous governor thought it was a good idea to run it down to 84 cents. I disagree with that. Uh, I think what you need to do is be fiscally responsible. And it's our fiscal responsiveness that has allowed us to reduce our state debt limit uh, down to near historic lows that allows us to do the state bond issue that we're talking about. And it's that state bond issue that all goes to local governments. Remember, the local government fund that they're talking about is a very small percentage of all of the money the state spends on local government. Uh, we spend money on debt service uh, to, to, for local property tax relief that goes to local governments and schools. We spend money on K-12 education, nearly 35 to 40 percent of our budget, local government. We spend money on Medicaid, another 30 to 35 percent of our budget, all goes to local. We, all of that is money that the state spends. The state spending on state government is a very small percentage of the state budget. And so, again, our job is to be fiscally prudent, and it's that fiscal prudence has increased the state's bond rating has put us in a position uh, to where we now have the ability to do things like the renewal of the Public Works Program, a $1.8 billion bond program that goes to local government. And so if we hadn't been fiscally responsible and done the things that we had to do, we would not be able to do these other programs that we're talking about. And by the way, one of the other things I think you got to tout Governor Kasich for 
is the road and bridge program that he is for the first time investing in local roads and bridges. Now, that's something that didn't happen before. Um, and that is happening, again, because of the fiscal conservative way the state's being managed. And so, short answer to your question, there's a lot of things he said that I agree with. There's also a few things he said that I disagree with. Um, and uh, the big one is, uh, I think we need to continue to improve the state's economy and grow jobs, because by doing that, all of Ohio will benefit.